Mr. Biddle, and I'm ready. <laughs> do you think we need a new friend? I think we do. <laughs> My really bad impression. Hey guys, and today I have a brand new video for you. This video is a makeup and beauty haul slash what I got on my holiday to Italy. Yeah. So we'll start off with um, the makeup and beauty that I have recently got. So Body Shop um, had a huge sale on over the summer and not only did they have a, a huge sale on their items that they had in stock for the summer range, they then brought back some of the collections that they previously had out. Katie, my friend, wanted to get some new body butter and we were going into the store and we saw that they had all this, all the old ranges on and I, my eyes just lit up because I was like, the Christmas range was like one of my favorite ranges Body Shop has ever released. They had the sugar scrubs and I picked up the frosted cranberry sugar scrub these scrubs are amazing. I needed a new one. I've had a lemon one before. I'm currently using Zoella's, but I really needed a new body shot one. Oh, it smells like jam or schlep. Totally recommend body shop scrubs. One of my favorite scents is raspberry, and I got the raspberry body butter. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. I love their body butters. And you just have a really nice relaxing bath and you get out and then you just want to be soaked in a nice moisturiser. I reach for these babies. They're just beautiful. And it's just a really nice fresh raspberry. Whereas the Christmas range um, things are more like sour and very just very strong whereas the body butters are normally a little bit softer their scents are a bit milder and they just they're just very just very nice just, I then picked up the early harvest raspberry raspberry is it a mist or is it a perfume it doesn't actually say as far as I know this smells so refreshing. If you could smell, if you could smell what I smell right now, the scent is just so refreshing. It's just a gorgeous raspberry. I just want to eat it. <laughs> I just want to just soak it all up in and just drink it um, if I could. Next up, it's the best part. <laughs> it's makeup. As you know guys, I have an addiction to makeup. I am not going to deny this because these videos are just evident. Evidence or evident evidence of that. These things have been around for a while but I've never managed to pick them up. When Superdrug had a 3 for 2 offer on I was like right I'm going to buy these this time because they look gorgeous and I think I can really work with them. And um, These are the Colour Tattoo 24 hour Maybelline Gel Cream Eyeshadows and the colours, the colour range is phenomenal. They have so many different colours um, but I went for the, um, how should we say this, like metallic glittery shades and I went for the golds, you know me, picked up pink gold. So this is basically a pastel pink shade with gold shimmer running through it. Eternal gold, which is just a gorgeous yellowy pale gold, it's just, it's just stunning. Um, the other one I picked up, or the last one I picked up, is On and On Bronze. It's just a gorgeous orangey bronze shade. Next, I picked up a few things from NYX. And I picked up some more prismatic eyeshadows. I absolutely love Liquid Gold and Fireball. They are just beautiful. I just love them so much. They blend so easily. I love them. So I was like, right, I have to pick some more more of these up. I have to pick some more of these up. There we go. And the ones I picked up were Golden Peach. Basically um, a peach with gold shimmer running through it. I wanted to try um, Frostbite. And then the other one, I wanted to try a shade that I wouldn't really go for. I picked up this shade, which is a mint green and it is called Mermaid. And they also had the NYX Lingerie Lipsticks. <sighs> I have ordered some from America and I'm currently waiting for those to come in, but I wanted to try, I swatched all the ones I ordered actually, and I'm so glad I ordered 
the ones that I did because I love them but I swatched some others whilst in boots and this one really really caught my attention and this one is called ruffle trim it's in the shade number four and I'm wearing it on my lips today I absolutely love it my poor little Maybelline liquid foundation has about literally ran out like there's like a little bit left which I can't really get out of that so I wanted to try some more foundations from the drugstore I wanted to go for the cheapest option but the one that best suited my skin tone and that was <laughs> no surprise but it was NYX um, stay matte but not flat foundation and it is in porcelain I have it on today and it is very it's a little bit darker or rosier than my MAC foundation but so much better than my Maybelline one like the coverage is like MAC in my opinion I love the coverage and it's this is like what time is it it's 325 in the afternoon and I've had this on like all day I love it it feels like Matt Matt Mac goodness sake it feels like Mac and it's only six pounds packages I wanted a new drugstore compact bronzer um, because my old bronzer I really absolutely love it it's the eye heart makeup one and um, hot love of summer I think it's called and it wasn't really the best kind of um, packaging to take away like when you're going on holiday anyway I thought right I need to get a new one so when I go traveling I can take it and this summer um, a lot of people have been raving about the L'Oreal Paris Glam Bronze in La Terra. It is stunning in my opinion but this has some shimmer in it which gives you that glow as well which I absolutely do love. Next one is from Superdrug. I actually can't remember what's in here. Oh I know what they are. I do, I do, and I cannot wait to use these. I picked up some Barry M lip liners, and I don't know, I just really like the shades of these. I was going to go with some NYX ones, but I thought no, I'm going to try Barry M because Barry M's makeup, some of it is really good. I love their nail polish, and I love their strobing highlighters, and I love their... Did I say nail polishes? Um, but I wanted to try their lip products and mainly, I have got one of their lipsticks actually, they're um, not my lipsticks, the matte lip pencils, yeah I've got one of those, but I wanted to try the lip liners and especially these shades, I really love these shades and I think they will go so well with so many of the lipsticks I have, but the shades I did get were, they don't have their names on them, does it say it on here? See what's on my receipt. For sure. Yes, it does. It has the names on there. Get in. I really want to get this so right. But the three shades I got were in number 15, 17, and number 16. Oh, okay. Then that goes in order. 15, 16, and 17. And those, the names of those shades is Rose, Toast, and Blush. I absolutely cannot wait to try these. The 17 will look really nice with this NYX lingerie lipstick. I think it would really go really nice. And you don't have to just wear them as lip liners. You can wear them all over as just a normal lipstick. Looks great. Now on to my holiday items. So first of all, every time our family goes on holiday, my dad has created this tradition or started up this tradition where we get a mascot from the holiday. So, and we did go to Butlins. We got Billy Bear and he has been in the family for quite some time I think around about seven years maybe and then last year when we went to Spain and we went to Porto Ventura we got Woody the woodpecker as you may have seen in our in my last in my last year's what I got for ho on my holiday or what I got for my holiday what I got for my holiday yeah it wouldn't it just wouldn't feel complete going to Italy and going to Gardaland and not getting the mascot that they have in Italy and that being this little chappy I mean is it me or does he remind you of Oakley Doakley Oakie Okie Doke Oakley Doakley Okie Doke like you know when he has the little spot shorts I don't know he looks a bit like that his name is Prezi Molo I think I said that right there we go 
Woody, Woody Woodpecker's head is like the size of my head. When you go on rides, as you normally, well not normally do, but as you'd like to do sometimes, you like to see the photos at the end of the ride. You go to the end of the ride and you immediately go to the photo booth and you want to see what you look like in the photos. So I don't normally do these, I don't normally get them, but I think I started this when I went to Scarefest with Paige, Misha and Scarlett but I wanted to do some um, in Italy in Godland on specific rides that I thought would get the best shots and oh, I just love these photos. The ones I we bought or I bought was this one and this was on the Colorado boat which is basically a log flume. You probably know this by now if you know, if you're very knowledgeable about football um, which my brother and cousins are my whole family loves football I'm not really well into tune with it but I know who I like that kind of thing but we're all doing the Pogba what the flip is it called the dab there we go got there in the end yeah look how smart I am on the football tech you've got um, my cousin Natasha in the back seat myself and then my cousin Daniel, which is Natasha's brother, and then my brother at the front. And we're all doing the dab and we're doing like different directions so we can see everybody. I just, I just loved it. And everyone else in the family loved it as well. I just thought it was a really cool idea so I had to purchase it. The other photo I got was of me and my cousin's girlfriend, which I love her to bits. She's just amazing. Ugh, she's just so lovely. Um, and her name is Aaliyah. I just... I just love her. She feels like a sister. She feels like part of the family already. Um, and we've only been on two holidays together, so, you know. This is us on the Oblivion Black Hole. <clears throat> and if you've ever been to Alton Towers, they have the ride Oblivion there. This ride, called Oblivion the Black Hole, is so much better. It is so good. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um, we loved it so much. I think this was Aaliyah's favourite ride and you can probably tell in that picture she loved it. The cool thing about this though is that not only am I on this and Aaliyah's on this but we also have like all the crazy adrenaline junkies on here. So we've got my cousin Natasha, Daniel, me, Aaliyah and Nathan himself. So yeah, I absolutely I really enjoyed this holiday and I love these photos. Now, on to the more fun stuff. We went shopping. I wanted to get some souvenirs. Some. I say some. I only really got one for myself, one for my best friend, and then one for my sister. I know my sister loves the Tree of Life, and so I got me and my sister two of these little bracelets. It's basically just a Tree of Life, like family and sisterhood means a lot to us. It means, it means everything. It means the world to me. Um, I love my family and I love my sister so yeah, that's why I thought I'd get her. And they were just really dead cute and you have this little tassel on the end. I don't know. It's also adjustable which I absolutely love otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. On the Saturday um, we went to Verona and it is the most beautiful city. I love the whole Romeo and Juliet thing. I love the whole vibe of the city. It's just so refreshing, so nice. I don't know, it just, that was the, one of the highlights of my holiday, I think. I just loved to visit historical cities. I just, I loved it. I really did. I loved it. As I and my sister previously mentioned in a Q&A video we did a couple of months ago, we like to take, you know, the freebies that are supposed to be free. So I picked up the body lotion and I picked up a, yeah, a soap. Let's hold it that way around. A soap and it has basically the hotel on it, where we stayed and a nice little reminder of the hotel. It's nice to keep freebies from a hotel. Whilst we were in the Manchester airport on our way to boarding our plane, Aaliyah spotted the... Oh my gosh, what magazine was it? I think it was the Glam magazine or Vogue magazine. She's probably screaming at the screen right now telling me what magazine it was, but I can't remember. Um, but this magazine had a sample, a pretty good decent sample, a 5ml sample of benefits do do the hula. We both stood there debating over it for so long. It's like the magazine's only four pound. We get a magazine to read on the plane, and we get a sample of benefit. 
why are we standing here debating over it? I mean, it was just, shall we, shall we? And we did. And I am wearing this today, and I wore it yesterday. I freaking love it. I love it so much. And it's making me really tempted to buy the actual Do The Hula. Because I have um, the Hula bronzer, which guys, by the way, I love to bits. I tried it as soon as I got back from Italy and it really blended in with my tan. It, like I had patches where my tan didn't um, tan, should we say, and it looked really funny. So I used the hula. I was like, I know, let's use my hula bronzer and use it in those places and it blended really nicely and it just looked I had a really nice natural tan. It worked, guys. And so does this. So I completely recommend this. Absolutely love it. Next thing I'm so excited to show you guys because I've been after this bronzer for so long. They don't have this in the UK anymore. It's like completely out of stock and it was part of their summer range, so I don't blame it. But I spotted it in this shop as we were going back to our coach, um, just as we were coming out of Verona. And it is the... Clarins Bronzing and Blush Compact. This thing's gorgeous. Not only did I get it cheaper because it was in Euros and not British Pound, I got the last one I think. It's just stunning guys, it's so pretty. Look at it. <laughs> That's just the packaging. It's got the C Clarins logo in the middle. Let me just open this to show you guys because it is just stunning. Look at it. I love it so much. You've got all these different shades and then you have the Clarins Logo C highlight in the middle. I just love it. I just, I'm just so excited to have it. There were so many shops that me and Aaliyah could not cope. However, we went to the home store of Kiko. My cousin Natasha and Aaliyah and myself were like these three mad English women going around the whole store just like oh I want this, I want this, I want this, like we just grabbed so many things and my mum and dad were standing outside and just smiling and laughing at me and then I had to come to the point where I was like right I need to realistically look at this and be like which ones do I really want. I picked up two eyeshadows so I got a peachy pink in the shade 220, it doesn't really have a name to the shade. And then the other one was 256, and they're both infinity eyeshadows, and they look beautiful. I think Aaliyah picked up four, all the four that were on sale, and I just really wanted to numb them down to two. These were 140 euros each. I don't know how much they are on the UK website, but 140 is like, what, 80p? Maybe less or more than that? I don't know. Pound? But yeah, love it. You may know, or you may not know, but the Rebel Romantic range that Kiko released at the beginning of this year, or is it last year? I can't remember. But I absolutely love that range. Unfortunately, a lot of the range sold out. Like, I could not get the lipsticks I wanted. I couldn't get the contour and highlight sticks. I couldn't get the facial primer, I think it was, or just something. It, they just look the whole range. I really wanted it all. I couldn't at the time pick any of the metallic shine eyeshadows until I went to Italy and they had all five shades on offer or four shades on offer. Just chose the shade that I really wanted when they came out online and the shade I got was in number six. And the packaging of the Rebel Romantic range is just gorgeous and you cannot get this on the UK website as far as I know because it's out of stock but shade number six and it's just this beautiful grey taupe shade. I love it. The new range I believe was called Neo Noir. Neo Noir? Is that how you pronounce it? Noir? 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 I don't know. I have no idea. The range looked really nice and the two things that stood out to me were the highlighter and the one of the blushes. They had three blushes I believe, one highlighter and then some contouring kits and some mascaras and my cousin Natasha set out to get a highlight and when she picked this bad boy up I was like where is that highlight oh, guys it's phenomenal I love this highlight it's just so nice it's right woo, it's right up my street and the packaging is just beautiful but the Neo Noir range comes in these cute little compact creased no I don't know design this 
I don't know what you'd call that design. And these are flower enriched highlighters. From what I've heard, they're supposed to smell like flowers, but we'll see. They have like a peachy, peachy highlighter with a gold pale highlight. It's just stunning. Oh my gosh. They do, they smell like flowers. Not sure what flower that is. What does it say? Highlighter with flower petal extracts. Doesn't say what flower. It's really refreshing. I love this. And when I swatched it, the highlight gods were speaking to me like this is the highlight for you. Natasha, I want you to let me know how you're getting on with the highlight. Have you used it? Because I know you used it on holiday and you loved it, but I want to know how you're getting on with it now. Like. Are you still loving it as much as you did when you purchased it? So the other one um, is the blush. This one is in the shade 3 and this actually has a name. It's called Sin Sinuous Coral and I love my kind of mauve shades and this is just... It has a mauve plum shade at the top here and then a peachy gold shade and they know me so well. Putting those two shades together take my money now, just, just do it. it. Smells just like the highlighter. And I think these are just gonna remind me of going on holiday. These were 12 euros 90 each. The eyeshadow was 3 euros 40. Me and Leah spotted this little counter on its own, but in the center of the store. Everything else is kind of like laid out um, with black. This counter was just white, and it had these blushes on there. And we stood there for so long, and there was four, I believe, there's four all together, and they're called Coco Shock Blushes, and they looked amazing. I picked up my favourite out of the four. It is called Silky Rose and Mauve in the shade number two. So it looks like this. It's a chocolate bar, so to speak, and you can guess what they smell of because they're cocoa. Smells of chocolate, I, oh, this is coming up a little pinkier on the camera, but it's actually a very muted pale brown pink. And then this one is a very a bronzy plummy peach shade, I think. I don't know how you can have plummy peach in the same one, but you can. But these are baked blushes and they are stunning. But these are 10, 90 euros and I think that is everything my battery is gonna die so i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel and comment below also you can interact with me on instagram and twitter but all the links are below if you want to follow my sister as well she is still around she's just abroad at the minute um so yeah that is it that is everything i am well spent out even though i know there's more makeup videos to come I hope you enjoy this. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye! Got hair flying all over the face. Ooh. Eh. Eh. Nope, not going in. Come on. Seriously? I'm falling off my stool. Yeah. Just um, interrupted my video. <laughs> Come on. Sent an email. No, sent a Facebook message about to all those sisters in our release society, mm. so they can get what we talked about in the lesson. Basically, you just need to read the talk. But I put on LDS.org, and of course, it comes up. There's a picture of LDS. Mm -hmm. That's what it does. That's what Sharon would want me to do, but I did it without even knowing. <laughs> I love her. Um, laptop, please be quiet. I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> and seriously, I always get so thirsty in videos. And then the burping comes along. Diagnose me, people. Diagnose me.